Okay, so guys, page number nine, huh? yeah, okay. I have four elements here. They say two of these elements will combine to form a covalent compound. Explain the formation of the bond that is formed uh, in this case here. So guys, how do you form a covalent compound? What's the requirement, guys? What plus what? Is it metal plus metal? Metal plus non-metal? Or non-metal plus non-metal? Ah, very good. Exactly. Non-metal plus non-metal. Okay. Can you guys just give it a brainstorm? Which two do you think can combine to form a covalent compound? Skin mark. Non-metal plus non-metal. So just find among this W, X, Y, Z. Who is non-metal? You should get your answer. Okay. So how do I know is it metal or non-metal? First of all, you have to analyze these two numbers here. These two numbers here, do you know what is the top left and the bottom left stands for? What does 12 stands for, the 6 stands for? Uh, 12 stands for what? What do you call this? What do you call this? What number is this? Anyone know? Do you know? Uh, normally, we call this the standard representation, which is the top left is always your nucleon number. Very good. Okay, nucleon stands for what? Proton plus neutron. Ah, then the six, uh, bottom left, uh, is proton only. Okay? Then if I want to know who is metal, who is not metal, uh, you check the proton. And then you check the electron arrangement. See what group is it, you know? So let's say if I arrange these six here, because you know proton and electron, same number, right? So six is 2.4. This one is 2.8. 2.8.8.1. This is one. Is 2.4 a non-metal? Yes. Okay? Is 2.8 going to form any bond? <laughs> ah, 2.8 is stable already. It's not going to form any bond. So therefore, this is out. Okay. 2.8.8.1. Group 1, guys. Group 1 is metal. Out. Because I want non-metal and non-metal. Which is only left with the last guy here, Z, which is only one valence electron. So some students will, will get confused. Did you? The 1, uh, is it group 1? Since it's group 1, is it a metal? means you never remember what I said just now. I told you, group one is metal, except for the first element in your periodic table, which is this guy is having one proton number. He is the first element in your periodic table, which is basically hydrogen. Is hydrogen a metal or non-metal? Very obvious, right? So this is a non-metal. So to get you a covalent compound, I need to combine W and your Z. Is that okay? So let's brainstorm about it. W is 2.4. Z, uh, Z is 1. Since I cannot donate, I cannot receive electron, right? How do I start by sharing electron? By asking yourself, how many more do they need? So four electrons at here, he needs four more. So W needs four more. How many more do Z needs? Do Z need seven? No, uh, because this one is at the first shell. What is the maximum number of electrons in your first shell? Two. So therefore, Z only needs one more. So because of this four more and one more, do the cross method, W, Z, four. So you have to draw one W and four Z. So do I need to draw this in our essay, guys? Depends on the marks. If it's eight marks, uh, normally no need to draw. But if you draw it, it's not wrong. Okay, you get a point. But sometimes you see 10 marks, must draw. Ah, so some of us teacher, ask, teacher, how to get eight marks without drawing? You crazy, ah? guys. I told you the format. Go along with the format. You will get eight marks easily. How you gonna go, go along with the format? Okay, first thing here, because this question asks you a very simple thing here. Which two elements will combine to form a covalent compound? That gives you one mark. W and Z. So atom W and Z combines to form covalent compound. Okay, what's the format here, guys? Always relate to electron arrangement, valence electron, and what do they need for, co co for covalent compound? If it's for any compound, it's uh, electron arrangement, valence electron, donate or receive electron. That's for any compound. So, back here, we know that atom W
has electron arrangement of 2.4 with four valence electrons. So he got four valence electrons. How many more do he need? Four. So atom W needs four more electrons to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. That's all for W. You're going to get around three marks already. Ah, three to four marks, I would say. Ah, okay. Then how about Z? So atom Z has electron arrangement of one with one valence electron. How many more does he need? So atom Z needs one more electron to achieve stable hey, some guys something different here z become two only ma can you usually write stable octet electron arrangement what is the that what's the keyword when you try to achieve like two duplet very good achieve stable duplet electron arrangement okay so guys by reaching here you get six marks is it that hard no right Ah, okay. So once you receive, uh, uh you, you, okay, sorry. Once you actually try to talk about this two already, how many W and how many Z do we need by our analysis? One W, four Z. Okay, so what do we talk about? One atom W contributes. How many do he need to contribute? Since he needs four, he has to contribute four. Contributes four electrons. For sharing while four atom Z contribute each Z only need to contribute one electron each for sharing to form covalent compound. W, Z4. There you go. Eight marks. Is it that hard? Ah, I will say this chapter essay, if come out in exam, ah, steady for BB. Okay. But if it's 10 marks, you need to draw. So no harm drawing right now. Okay, let's just draw about it. So I have W. Okay. So let's W is 2.4. Okay. First shell, just draw it. But I will always suggest my student when you try to draw uh, sharing electrons, draw the outer shell, bigger size, and don't put the electrons first. Means I'm going to put my W, the outer shell, bigger size first, and then I don't put my electrons first. I try to do all the intersection first. So Z is intersecting, Z intersect, Z intersect, Z intersect. So again, W got four valence electron. You're going to put all the four electrons into the four intersection here. So one, two, three, four. Z only got one electron. And he need to have one electron. So he just contribute the one and only electron he have, which is the dot, into the intersection. So there is no more extra electrons outside the Z and outside the W. You see that? So this is drawing for WZ form. 